So we are standing outside the Wildwood Grand Lodge. It's obviously a park model. Absolutely. Um, yep. A big park, park model. model. That's Absolutely. really a lot higher than I... Yeah, it's that's huge. really high. It's, it's yeah. tall. And the Grand Lodge, um, you know, is, is one of those units where it's going and it's staying right exactly where it's supposed to be. Uh -huh. Okay, you're not really pulling this thing. It's not really meant to be pulled. Um, it's meant to go to one spot, <laughs> sit where it's at, and it stays there. I mean, the front cap on this thing is literally just a direct front I guess wind see it below here, up show, over yeah. here on this side. Yeah, it's not very um, aerodynamic. Not aerodynamic whatsoever. Uh -huh. um, and, and the suspension, and this is why park models, a lot of people ask why are park models cheaper than fifth wheels, right? These park models are just as big as fifth wheels, but are a whole lot less expensive than okay. a fifth wheel goes. I didn't even realize um, that. Yeah, and they truly are. And, and so the reason why is because they don't necessarily spend as much time on like axle suspension, tires, things like that, because these things are meant to go to point A to point B and maybe be moved once or twice a year, okay. maximum, right? Where fifth, fifth wheels are meant to be moved as many times as you want them yeah, to, you know right. what I mean? They're, they're, they've got the upgraded suspension, they've got uh, you know, your stabilizers, things like that, that kind of go over and beyond to make sure that this camper stays um, as the fifth wheels as you're driving down the road. So okay. it works out well that way. But again, park models are meant to go kind of stay put, not really be moved much. All right, well, let's talk about the outside. Anything else we need to talk about the outside? Obviously, a nice big awning here. I'm just yeah, I'm excited awning. to get into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seeing window over window, I just I want to see what's in yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, with this park model on the outside, um, obviously, like we've already mentioned, we have this huge uh, power awning out front, LED light strip underneath. Um, on this particular unit, we do have stabilizer jacks on it. It's an additional option with Wildwood because, frankly, most people that have these guys, they're jacking it up, and then they're putting concrete blocks underneath it and sitting it on concrete okay. blocks. They're not using these stabilizer jacks. But right. whoever ordered this camper did want the stabilizer jacks, so uh, we've got them in here for them. Okay. you got outside speakers, outside outlets as well, so a lot of people like watching TV outside. Uh, we could actually hook it up right here to our outlet, hook our satellite right up here as well, um, and so we could have our own little... You know, entertainment center set up out, outside as well. So. And for folks who are new to the RV world, something I've learned is that uh, these are here as opposed to the nicer steps because so many people with park models put on their own deck. Absolutely. Which would which would look really nice outside a, a double glass door, like sliding glass like door this. like this. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, and the other thing too, you got to think about those big solid steps. They actually fold all the way into the camper. Right. With it being a glass sliding door, there's really no spot for them to fold this into uh, and still make everything look, you know, yeah appealing on that side so the 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 stairs are here if you don't have a deck but again most people are putting decks right up next to their camper and so you're basically stepping up onto the deck at that point and then going directly into your awesome. camper awesome. so all right should we get inside uh that's cool yeah so up there <laughs> this is very minor serves no purpose other than it looks cool yeah but it caught my eyes as i walked in strictly for physical appearance on that side yeah uh, really has no value as far as like weight bearing or anything like right. that just but it a cool feature yeah uh, just kind of keep it classy i dig it all right um, so let's talk but about yeah this so we're news. now we're inside again this is the 42 dl wildwood grand lodge um this one is a really nice unit because it does have a double loft up top um, and then as far as like our open floor, sp uh, floor plan area up front here, um, we do obviously have entertainment center. Uh, it's got a little shoe nook underneath it, um, fireplace that does put off heat. So like on a day like today, it's not too cold, um, but inside this camper right now, it's a little chilly, right? Mm -hmm. I turn that fireplace on, it just takes the edge off, right? Right. So I could actually be in here in my short sleeve shirt and my shirt uh, and my shorts and, you know, be fine, comfortable inside the unit. Yeah. Um, as far as... Um, your furniture goes um the, the your sofa back here in the back will fold out into a queen size bed and then we do have the two recliners with rip cords on each side to actually recline out right in front of your tv right so cool feature there big old pantry behind you absolutely absolutely so as far as storage for your um giant frankly kitchen area we do have the huge uh pantry area um for you for extra storage there um tons of counter spaces we kind of walk through this portion of it and then also everybody, and, and I do as well, when we go to our uh, campsites, we're always looking where we go put the coffee pot, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the cool thing is this has got its own little section over here. You can have your ice maker over here, your coffee pot over here, um, and it's got outlets over there for you as well. So you can have your own set little up. coffee bar over there out of your the way. Your own little coffee bar yeah. set up over there. It's good. Um, we do have residential style um, cooktop as well as this is a bigger uh, oven than what you're typically used to seeing in your campers. So... 
uh, isn't quite residential size, but nonetheless, it is a little bit bigger. And then same thing with your microwave. This one is going to be residential size for your microwave. Uh, John just commented. I think it's a good comment. It's kind of funny. Is it really a camper if you just park it and add a deck? No, no, <laughs> it's not. It's not. Um, you know, it's well, you're in a campground most likely. You're, maybe you're, you're, you're nine uh, times out of ten in a campground. Frankly, other pe people will park this at their home residence and use it as a guest house. So, yeah. um, you know, is it truly a camper? That's a great question because yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. It's all, it's got wheels and a hitch on the front. I guess. So I guess it's, it's a very good point, but. Either way, it's really nice in here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. No doubt whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, still plenty of storage down underneath and up top as far as storage goes. Um, so, again, a lot of cool things going on inside this kitchen that do give you that big awareness, spatial you know, setup that you don't typically get in camper. So, mm -hmm. with it being a big park model, you do still get that residential feel to it. Yeah. I like this refrigerator. Huge fridge. Yeah. Yeah, huge fridge um, on the inside of this guy, too. So, a big residential fridge. Awesome. And then um, I guess we'll kind of step back to the yeah, back. Yeah, let's head hit the uh, bathroom here first. Yeah. So uh, we've got uh, obviously everything you need. The sink, good size sink. You got extra counter, counter space, space on yeah. the side, storage, storage underneath. Storage underneath. And then even more storage, even farther yeah. underneath. Whereas most uh, most manufacturers oh, yeah. aren't leaving that spot empty down there. You are having more storage down right. underneath it as well. Assuming this one, yeah, that, okay, so it, I was going to say there's probably nothing here, but there is a little place for maybe uh, sponges or whatever you need to, yeah, to keep in here. Uh, that's and good. then you got storage back there behind you for all of your yeah. uh, all of your towels and things like that. Yep. A lot of people don't really think about, um, you know, the bathroom as far as extra storage space because those towels are going to be super important so that way you don't have to track through your camper to go get your towel or bring your towel in with you, leave it on the floor, now you get out of the shower, all your towels all soaked and... Yeah, I get on my wife all the time about that. I don't like that whatsoever. Wet floors, oh, I hate that. It drives you crazy. Oh, it drives me insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane, and she knows it too. That's funny. Yeah, but she still does it. I mean, why would she change, right? <laughs> right. You're not the boss, Wayne. I'm not. How no, long have you been just, married? I, huh? How long have you been married? Uh, you should know. Uh, three Whoa. Years. Yeah, three years now. So. We got upstairs. Yeah, so upstairs. Now you just stepped over a central vac system as well. Oh, yeah. So cool feature there. Um, all of the blinds are going to be. Um, um, Rolled out, roll up blinds as well. So the shade uh, blinds are going to be roll up, rolled down. So the windows are huge throughout this camper, uh -huh. as we've seen every single. So you get the spot loft. I'll go up to the loft and look down. So yeah, we get now. This is a little time. Kids would love this. Yeah, I mean, so, I'd love it once I'm up here. So that loft up there is going to be the the shorter of the two lofts. Okay, yeah. so. Of the two lofts, that's going to be the smaller of the two. It's got ductwork up there. It's got places for TVs. Um, it's got lighting up there as well, so tons of room up there. USB then, chargers. Yep. There's where the TV would go. Yep. And then oh my you gosh. do have this, um, uh, what do you want to call it, curtain. I would that call would that a curtain. Close it, yeah, close it all off as well. That's crazy. Cur you call it, you pronounce it curtain, Lane. Curtain. That's in, what you would call in it. The, in the States, we call it curtain. <laughs> In, uh, in in places like New Zealand, it's still called curtain. Oh so, uh, yeah. In case anybody was curious. So this is this is cool. You got kids. Your kids are gonna love hanging out up here. Yeah. Uh, being fifty makes it a little more difficult to get around. I'm trying to do this with as little as disgusting noises as possible. We're not live. It's okay. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, we yeah, are. Yeah, we are. Uh, all right, Gage. And I think then, you have to come up here to take a look at this one. And that this side's is obviously a little a more lot, room over here. Yeah, a whole lot easier to get in on this side. And um, this is daggone. This is sweet. And so tons of room up here as far as that goes um, on I this feel, other side. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this would be my room. Oh like, yeah. Like I tell my wife, you can have the bedroom. I want to sleep up here. <laughs> this is this is cool. Uh, TV backer over yep. here. TV backer over there. This is storage. There's there's cabinets here and yeah. I dig this. Yeah, so like I said, when it comes to this side of it, there's plenty of room on the inside of this one, right. uh, on this side of it. But as we like turn around, we can see the other side, it just gets a little bit tighter up yeah. there. So, I mean, you're probably gaining about a foot and a half of headroom from one side to the other. So still able to obviously, you know, children, and, and frankly, you can still get in there. Obviously, if you're a foreground adult, it's just a little bit tight yeah. uh, as far as that goes. But if you're sleeping, you're sleeping. Right. So we got I mean, people digging the loft right now. Colleen oh, digs the loft. I don't know, this is for you guys. I don't know if you just need to... Pause your screen. This is for the can this is for the calendar. Can we get like zoomed in? No, don't zoom in. No, don't Not zoom from that in. angle. Oh, okay, we can't. Uh, <laughs> you said we can't gauge. Sorry. On <laughs> there's the. Yeah, I can guarantee you it would get cool up here very quickly if you need it to. Oh, absolutely, yeah. no doubt. 
Uh, of course, these these you can pull out. So if you just need this to be storage up here, and it can be as well. Yeah. Have, and the, and the cool thing too is these are the bigger mats too. So these are like it's three inches thick. I'm yeah. trying to take my time up here because yeah. this is these this are is three nice. inches thick, whereas the other ones are like only an inch thick that yeah. you see on some of your mats uh, for your bunks. So All right. uh, these definitely are a lot bigger as far as that goes. Maybe we should go to the the wife's room then because this will be mine. <laughs> I wanted to see the camera get all the way up front there, all the way up into the loft area, personally. But <laughs> are we gonna go downstairs into the bedroom? Yeah. So this is Crazy. basically they, they, if we look at the framework on this particular camper, it's got what's called a drop frame on it. So um, this frame actually drops down again. Another reason why you can't necessarily you don't want to pull it too much is because mm -hmm. this is really low to the ground on this side of things. Okay. Um, you get into a real you know tough you know deep crevice or something like that you might bottom up uh, out on the bottom of it so you just got to be careful when you're pulling it um, but nonetheless um, we do have one slide in here um, so this is gonna be a total of three slides on this camper which it feels a lot bigger than three slides but it does only have three slides on it so that saves on money okay. um, as well so um, big bedroom here or big bed here and then um, you have your washer and dryer um, set up for in there um, so you can put your washer and dryer in that side, storage behind you, and then just kind of windows galore in here to give you all kinds of bright light room, and yeah. you get to see kind of what we do on the, <laughs> yeah. uh, on the back side. But well, are, am I walking through all those RVs today? I don't know about all of them, but a good Sheesh. little minute of them. It's going to be a long day. You need to stick around with me. I don't want to be here all by myself today. <laughs> just stick around and see all the RVs yeah, we have absolutely. to show you. Absolutely. But yeah, like I said, I mean, tons of storage, um, you know, across that whole window um, down underneath. They make this exact same floor plan except reversed. So a lot of people are like, hey, look, I don't want my bedroom right up next to the road because in this floor plan, it probably will be unless you have a pull through place. OK, um, so all oh, that makes sense. Yeah, you're backing in from here. because yeah. you're backing in. So that your bedroom will be right beside the road. Yeah. OK. Some people don't like that. Or let's say that they've got like a. Um, a view out the back, right? They're like, hey, look, we would much rather have all the windows off the back looking over the lake that we're parked right beside or the woods that we're parked right beside or whatever it is. So they'll want the bedroom up here, but you can flip this. Okay, okay so... What if you just got a couple buddies back. to lift on the front end and yeah. spin it around? Yeah, you could totally do that, too. Okay. I'd like to watch at least. <laughs> I mean, I won't participate, but I'll watch. Somebody's going to hurt themselves <laughs> if you do everything we say to do on the Absolutely. show. Absolutely. There's no uh, doubt in my mind. All right. Well, thank you, sir. I love this park model. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. It truly is. And, and frankly, most people are using it for, you know, long-term living. Um, yeah. You know, we can't technically say that you are living in the camper because banks and insurance companies very much frown upon that. But uh, if you are, you know, uh, long-term stay, uh, that is not living. So, yeah. but frankly, people are living in it. So.